Welcome back, Ram fans. Mark from Rams up here. Time to hand out some game balls. Who were our players of the week in this 13 to 9 win over the Chargers? Before I get to that, let's look at some snap counts, a few things that stood out to me. Uh, first of all, I was surprised that Jordan Whittington and Nick Hampton played at all. Whittington, again, had a pretty good game. Uh, worth noting that Casey Leviston and Laurel Murchison did not play. Hey, Rams are really play it close to the vest when it comes to injuries. These guys obviously are just too dinged up to get out there. And then uh, Christian Roseboom again did not play. Announcers got that wrong. That was not that was not Christian Roseboom out there. And Cam Kinchens, they've decided they've seen enough of him. He's going to be a contributor on this defense. So he was sat down, which is, you know, I, was, I thought we'd see the same for Hampton and Whittington on the offense, but apparently not. And who else did not play? Jerry Jacobs wasn't out there. That was interesting. Don't know what that means. Has he, has he made this roster? Is he dinged up a little bit? And uh, guys that got a lot of snaps, Keir Thomas was out there a heck of a lot, as was Sean Jolly and Josh Wallace uh, on the defensive side. And Bo Lemmer played most of the game. And let's see what else. Uh, Jimmy G. Dresser Wynn obviously did not play. And Sam Wigloos uh, still banged up from that injury. Bad timing for him. Uh, he needs to get out there and show what he can do. He's not going to make this roster potentially make it to the practice squad, or maybe, you know, another team will give them a look. So let's get to my game balls. And who do we need to talk about? Who are, who are our players of the week? Well, the first two guys I'm going to give game balls to are our two inside linebackers, Omar Spates and Jake Hummel, uh, leading the way as far as tackles go. And you expect that from our inside linebackers. Spates had seven combined, Hummel five, and Spates uh, also a big special teams contributor. And worth getting back to snap counts, our leaders on special teams as far as snap counts, Spates, Jason McCullough, and Neil, the other inside linebacker. And Spates is really making a case for a roster spot, as is Hummel. And, you know, I'm going to backtrack on something I said earlier. You know, I had penciled in Reader as a... Uh, a roster lock because he hasn't been playing. And, you know, you see some comments on the YouTube channel about this. And maybe this is what's going on. They know what Troy Reader brings to the table. They don't really need to see any more of him, right? Maybe this is a case of Omar Spates and Jake Hummel proving that they bring more to the table than Reader. Uh, maybe Reader isn't a roster lock. Maybe Spates and Hummel. They have both shown during preseason games, anyways, that they deserve a roster spot. And again, you know, what happens in camp and in these joint practices, you know, the Rams care more about that. But I don't know what the Rams are going to do. You know, it's always obviously, obviously going to be Rose Boom and Ernest Jones. I was thinking Troy Reader and one or two of these other guys. Maybe it's Spates and Hummel and no Troy Reader. I can only guess. And Neil's been playing well too. So game balls to our two inside linebackers, Spates and Hummel. Uh, another guy that I'm going to give a game ball to is Xavier Smith. And before the game, I had said, uh, this is X time. Let's see what Xavier can do. And he showed out five catches for 45 yards, had a 34-yard return. And, you know, Troy Ritter and Tutu Atwell have something in common. They have guys at their position that are playing in the preseason and playing really well. And Reader and uh, Tutu Atwell both have to be looking over their shoulder a little bit. Xavier Smith gets a game ball uh, from me. And another guy, Zach Evans. Now, he didn't necessarily, you know, he, w he wasn't incredible. You know, 16 carries for 62 yards. But this is, I've been asking for this forever. Let's get Zach Evans a bunch of carries. And he got hurt on that goal line carry, came back, showed some toughness. Um, and there were there were plays where he looked like he didn't do a very good job creating, to be honest with you. 
But I finally saw something from him that indicates he could potentially be a running back at the NFL level. Need to see more. Still don't know if he's going to make this roster. I think Boston Scott has a leg up on him. So um, we'll see. Uh, at, at worst case for Zach Evans as he ends up on the practice squad, still think the Rams should add a running back uh, for this third preseason game, but I, I doubt they do that. Got to give another game ball to Jordan Whittington. Five catches for 52 yards. I was surprised he played, uh, and he would have had more. But, you know, Sean Bennett, Stetson Bennett, I mean, uh, was off target on several throws, and one of, at least one of them was to Whittington. Not much accuracy shown on that throw. A lot to be desired, and we saw that Bennett uh, Hunter Long a couple of times, too. And I gave... Uh, Carlos Watkins, a game ball. He had uh, three combined tackles, uh, a sack, and a forced fumble. And this is a guy that showed up just a few days ago, basically filling that role, you know, that Raul Murchison might have been uh, filling. Murchison has been banged up. Uh, so Watkins has a lot to prove. I think he has a shot at making this roster. So we'll see what happens there. And, you know, you got to give J.J. Lapp a game ball, two catches, but the one big one, clutch catch. Huh. First time we've really seen Stetson take a shot downfield, I think, and uh, a game winner. So give him a game ball. And I'm obviously going to give Aubrey Pleasant a game ball, just like Sean McVay did. What a cool video. Cool in two ways. Aubrey Pleasant, man command of that locker room. You can tell those players love him. What a great voice in that locker room to a bunch of young players. Loved what he had to say and just the vibe he has. Really cool stuff. Love that the Rams do that. And you know what? I'm going to give a game ball to Sean McVay. You know, um, Sean McVay, got to give a guy credit a, a leader of men willing to step aside and let someone else lead those men when the opportunity arises. I had someone over to watch the game with me uh, that is not in tune with what the Rams do, the culture they have. And uh, uh, she was saying, well, why, why is Sean McVay up in the booth? What What's going on? Does he have COVID or something? And I explained, uh, no, this is what the Rams do. Uh, Aubrey Pleasant is the coach for the day. They've done this in the past, and they're doing it again. And she was like, wow, that is really impressive. Uh, that uh, And, you know, I've been around a while in the business world, and there's not a lot of leaders that are willing to do that. And at the NFL level, I don't know if any other teams have done this, but it's really cool that the Rams do this, that Sean McVay is willing to do this. Uh, really cool stuff. So I, I that was just great to see. And... You know, again, Aubrey Pleasant, you know, his little, if you haven't seen it, watch the uh, locker room video. Um, he's gets to the end of that, his little locker room speech. It's like, hey, you know, what? we're not going to uh, hand out game balls here. And uh, Sean McVay rolls in and uh, with a little expletive. And uh, yes, <laughs> by the way, Aubrey, we are handing out game balls. And here's one for you. Really cool stuff. A uh, good win for the Rams. Those are my game balls, players of the week for preseason game number two. Rams 13, Chargers 9, and uh, out here from Rams up.